Hi everyone. If you watch my channel, you know that one of the things that I talk about uh, and one of the things I've really been excited about and loving is that since I started posting videos of myself practicing and learning the sitar, I've been getting a lot of comments and meeting a lot of people um, from around the whole world who are also learning sitar and are just beginners like me or more experienced and playing their whole life. And it's been amazing to sort of find this community of people and watch their videos and uh, get their feedback on my stuff and just have a conversation, just see how uh, we can all sort of, you know, do this together. And it's it's just been really awesome. Well, I'm, I had a really fantastic thing happen. A sitarist, another student, I guess, let's say, um, his name is Manjeet Singh, and he's in uh, the UK. We were talking and sort of exchanging just a little bit about our experience and our time sort of learning. And, and he said, hey, you know, I'd love to do like a little sort of interview and maybe you could share it with your viewers. I was like, yeah, let's do that. That sounds really awesome. It's really exciting. And so he shot a little video and I'm going to, um, and he's at, you know answering some questions about his time learning and I'm going to play some of that for you here. Um, some of the audio is a little quiet, so I'll, I'll try to boost that up so you can hear it. He also uh, posted a, a video of himself playing on, in a lop. So I'll put that in as well so you can listen to him sort of talk about his experience and then uh, listen to him play. I'm not going to post the full videos, so if you want to hear his full interview and you want to listen to the full alop, um, you'll definitely want to check out his uh, YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description below. I really recommend you check it out and listen. Um, some great stuff over there. He's got a, a, some other videos on his page as well that you should definitely listen to and and um, feel free to give him a uh, subscribe, uh, you know, and um, follow his journey as well. So can you tell us a bit about yourself? Okay, I, uh, I live in England, uh, near Cambridge, in a town called Biddle's Wade. I'm 50 years old and I work as an investment consultant mm -hmm. in the financial services industry. Okay, and um, in your Sitar learning journey, what has gone well so far? Okay, I've been um, singing uh, vocals and harmonium since the age of 15 and what I found was that experience was very valuable in my learning process so it gave me very good musical awareness in terms of rhythm and sur, uh, which is note awareness um, so from that point of view that experience I had in, in the singing because I used to sing in Gurdwars which is Sikh temples mm -hmm. um, that experience was invaluable and really helped me in terms of making my musical awareness also I've used YouTube as a learning uh, a major learning um, source and that's really helped. Mm -hmm. So I follow uh, artists like Vlad Khan Saab, uh, Shahid Praveer and uh, Ustad Vais Khan Saab and their videos have been really valuable to me in terms of learning how they do their alaps and their cuts and that's really been my learning source. Okay. That's worked really well for me. Okay, great. In your opinion, what has not gone so far so well? Okay, I think, um, I think the best form of learning is a guru shishya, where a student learns from a guru, a star. Okay, but for whatever reason, um, uh, due to geographical where we live, it was difficult finding a teacher um, for me. Uh, so really, um, you know, I've been, I first bought a sitar back in 2009, mm -hmm. uh, but didn't really start, haven't really started playing it with any seriousness for three years. The last three years I've been more serious about it. So it was just sitting in a box and I occasionally get it out, tune it and play it. Mm -hmm. But now I'm actually uh, taking it more seriously and I want to progress and learn more. Uh, so from, from my perspective, not having a Guru Shisha has probably slowed my progress. Um, that, that's been quite difficult. Also, I think because I've started playing the Sadar at age 50, uh, there might be some people who disagree with me. Mm -hmm. um, but I think my joints are not as... Uh, flexible and supple as they could be yeah. if I started learning at the age of 15, 16. So I think in terms of building up speed, especially in the Dara stroke, mm -hmm. that's been quite difficult. I think the age factor, the joints, has been a limitation in my learning.
hope this was cool. Uh, I hope you liked listening to uh, Manjeet talk about his experience. And, um, you know, I, I did. I thought that was really great. So, all right. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I am now on Patreon. So if you want to go over there and uh, become a patron and help support me, uh, take lessons and also support me uh, keeping videos on this channel, that would be awesome too. Every dollar does make a difference. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.